Hey stars, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you guys have been well and I've been gone for so so long, but I am glad to be back. I've been well, don't stress, and you guys have been out skiing. Go with all you. I'm here, I'm back, okay? I'm back. I'm glad to be back. And if you're coming across my channel for the first time, hi, my name is Khalil Khalala Agaveji. I am so pleased and honored to have you here. I hope that you stay, you subscribe, and you become a star. So to be taking you like when you so when you subscribe, you're too ridiculous to become a star. So I do hope that you stay and you become a star. Meaning, you subscribe. <laughs> I hope that you subscribe. Literally, for the stars that have been here, you guys are seeing a different background. And that is what we're going to talk about in this video. A mini life update and some new developments. First of all, I just want to say thank you guys so, so much for 700 subscribers. I really do appreciate you guys. And I'm grateful that the Star Family is growing. Like, is growing. You understand? I'm grateful that the Star Family is growing. And yeah. And the second thing I want to touch base on is the fact that I moved. <laughs> so I moved from Bluefitain to Cape Town. And I am studying. I know that some people were confused. I am studying in Cape Town that's how far i can get with my personal life i'm studying in cape town i live in cape town i live in a communal student house so meaning i have my own bedroom but we share places like the kitchen and the bedroom and the bathroom sorry the living area and yeah i moved here end of january uh 2024 of course <laughs> and i've been living here since I tried to film some content for you guys, it just didn't come out the way I anticipated it to. But even than that, I am back with a life update. So a backstory on the fact that I moved to Cape Town. So in 2023, actually in 2022, when I was doing my matric, I obviously had dreams and plans, you know, planning and planning and planning to come to the site, which is Cape Town. And I told my mom, my mom was fine with it. But God said, baby girl, not now, <laughs> okay? I planned and God decided and I got humbled that if you don't plan with God, if you don't put God first and if you don't, you know, make God the center of your plans and to involve him in whatever you do, he will be humbled. And so that's what I learned from Timothy Timothy that we plan but God decides. Your plans are not going to succeed. So what I learned from two two three is that God will put God first in whatever I do. It doesn't matter how big or small it is. I got to put God first. And that's what I did in 2024. 20, I was like, God, in as much as I know that you you decide for me and I know that you have plans to help me prosper, not to harm me, but to help me for the future. I know that, you know, everything happens for a reason but i just need you to literally have mercy on me and oh how hello i gave it this year literally you know because there's a lot going on also with my mental health and i just felt like i needed to be in a different environment to you know see things differently and to to be my own person i guess to be you know to have that sense of independency <laughs> girl i got here and i was like humbled once again okay like i was humbled but even in that i was excited and my mom was excited for me she was like go girl be independent and yeah it's not nice here but future i may make it seem like it's nice on the pictures and the content that i've been producing on my insta greasy and what's up it's not nice i miss home so so much i never thought that i would say this but i do miss home so much if i could go back home now i literally pack my bags and leave but that's another story that there's a, another reason behind that and which is like a family matter situation yana but i don't want to delve into my personal life like that anyway the other thing i just want to say thank you guys so much for bearing with me you know i've been going for so long and i didn't say anything to you guys but that is because i did plan it i took a plan to leave but i did not involve you guys the plan to leave was because i had wanted to produce a different like concept to my to my channel and to you guys my audience 
So meaning I decided that I'm gonna stop producing the kind of content that I used to go to produce on my channel. So meaning I am still gonna vlog but I am introducing a new series to my channel which is called Uni Diaries. So 2024 is my season one. I know that last year was supposed to be my season one but 24 is my season one and the next video is gonna be episode one it's gonna be uni diaries season one episode one so this is just an intro to everything and a really life update about what's been happening and where i've been gone and you know understand to get me yes and so i'm talking fast because i'm running out of storage so sorry bear with me and what's the other thing yes that's it um i don't think i'm comfortable in sharing the things that i did not share so there is a reason why i did not share please don't ask me anything unless i'm comfortable in sharing it i am comfortable in sharing thus far so i'm sorry but this is how far i can get i know there are questions from people that know know me but this is how far I can get with my personal life. This channel is for me to express myself the way I want to and sharing the things that I want to share and you guys knowing what I want you to know so that I have control of my story and my life. You understand? So yeah, that's another thing. Also another thing that took a huge turn in my life, I recently lost my great grandmother. So yeah, it's been it's been been, been going over. like even now i've been going through it sometimes i would literally study and pause for a minute and be like she's gone and start crying like literally i don't want to cry now i'm a big girl <laughs> i'm a big girl now but it's been a roller coaster guys i lost the woman who raised me and it's a sad thing she understand it's very sad but we move on when the time is right, I don't know to make it happen. In due time, I will heal. No condition is permanent, like my grandmother says. But that's another thing. And in terms of everything else, that's where I stop. So that's the mini life update. I'm a student in Cape Town. I live in a communal student house. So meaning that this can you see in the background that is the bits and pieces that you guys are gonna see from time to time so i'm not gonna give you a tour of the whole house as to i because i do share it with other students so i don't wanna put people's lives that like on social media like that whereas they don't put their lives like that on social media like i don't know my housemates like that so i wouldn't want to put their lives in a space where they are not comfortable on you understand so my room i'll give you guys a proper tour I'm not quite happy i'm still doing some changes um so even the video that you guys are about to see of the room tour is from weeks back so there are some changes in my room but i'm just going to show you guys from the clips that i took from weeks back but i hope that you guys do enjoy this uni diary series uh i've been enjoying consuming it from my fellow youtubers so hope that you guys do enjoy it coming from me and yes if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe thank you guys so so much for tuning in the next thing that you guys are going to see is the room tour so i hope that you guys enjoy so i have decided to do a voiceover so this is the door where you come in and that is my room this is from the side view i have a mini bar fridge that's my dustbin i got it from this place didn't buy it even the bar fridge is from this place this is my little space where i do all the hard work <laughs> my books my pots that i was gifted by my aunt and uncle a little candle that i got from a housemate that's my sweet jar and the other jar i use it to literally put my pencil cases so here i wanted to show you guys that my fridge okay yes very sharp it was full but my problem is that these people didn't give me uh fridge trays for my fridge and i was very really sad about that but either than that guess i know they did say they gotta make a plan for me so i'm still waiting for them to make a plan for me 
anyway this is the other side of the room that is my mirror with some leaves looking cute i was coming back from running errands on this day so that's how i looked proper so that is my thingy you guys saw what that is but i had to move it and put it next to the fridge because i didn't like it where it was didn't like the fact that it was just right there when you open the door and that is my cupboard my bed the cupboard is very spacious i had to change okay let me just say this i had to change my bed because i didn't like it it was a double bed because my room is the biggest room in the house so didn't like that bed because sana i'm a student sorry i was interrupted i can't even remember what i was saying but oh i was saying that my room back at home had a double bed so literally i had to change this is where i keep all my things we do have cupboards in the kitchen but i just love the convenience of everything in my room not because of safety reasons but i just appreciate <laughs> the convenience and this is the other door where i put some of my things like my toiletries cosmetics and whatnot <laughs> and guys i still need to go back home and go get my clothes because what you see in there is literally not enough yeah this and that is the other side the last side of the cupboard this thing is going so fast and guess and i can't think for my life <laughs> but yeah that is it for the room tour okay guys so that is it from me from this video i hope to see you guys in my next vlog i promise to be consistent i will try i'll try let me not say promise i will try to be consistent so i'm planning on posting every sunday if i can because i'm trying to focus i'm trying to bag this degree baby just like i'm trying to sing miss west mr west yeah i'm trying to sing mr west very much soon whenever when the time is right <laughs> but whenever i get to sing mr west jonathan but yeah Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys are subscribed. I'll see you guys in my next one.